That's all you're getting because I already did them and I hate them and this is bullshit. Um, but anyway, uh, just to, to remind everybody, the reason I'm only doing these ones when you haven't actually seen all of them is because I'm going to do ski jumping, which is two events that are the same. Um, I'm going to do that one. I caught the half pipe one on the one that I just did, that one actually recorded. And snowboarding, giant slalom, uh, well first of all, speed skating, two distances are the same. Um, snowboarding, giant slalom, and downhill skiing, those are basically the same, they control exactly the same even though they're on different uh, modes of transportation. And luge is exactly the same as bobsledding, except that it starts out differently. After that, it's completely identical, same type of courses, same everything else, and same level of difficulty because I can't fucking do it. I haven't completed uh, an entire course in either of those sports, so whatever. Uh, it's kind of bullshit, but whatever. We're on freestyle skiing aerials, which is an event where you pick a trick. This one actually makes sense, unlike the snowboarding one where you're picking out eight tricks that you're gonna do before you go do them and it just it just seems really cookie cutter and that's why I call it the paint by numbers and it's also why I'm calling this one they pulled me back in because I have to do more of this shit um I don't know what any of these things mean um there's meters there's different there's letters and other things and I have no idea what any of it means the idea is you pick a trick, you're gonna go do it. It makes sense because you're only doing one. And for most of it, you're just watching. You're watching the guy go down the hill, you're watching the guy do the trick in the air, and you just gotta be ready to mash the A button to get power up for whatever the hell that actually means in this context. And then he does a fancy trick. And right there, we have to press that. Oh, and he fucked up, huh? Gee, haven't seen that one before. Uh, I don't know, just with, along with ski jumping, which I'm going to do next. I don't know what the fuck a good landing is supposed to be. They don't give you any sort of idea as to how to time the landing. Because all you're doing is pressing a button. Um, it's actually worse in this one because there's not even a meter to sort of like guide you along. Um, in the other one, there's a meter, but even when I feel like I've done it correctly, I'll get to it. Ready? Even when I feel like I've done it correctly in the in the ski jumping one, they tell me I haven't. So let's try again. Mash the A button. Keep mashing it and it. That's what that's what I think a good landing looks like, and then they still tell me that it sucked, so I have no idea. Um, I can imagine, like, I, I think I can imagine that, like, if he were to stay on his feet and everything, it would be a little bit better. Apparently, that wasn't even that bad. Apparently, except for um, Switzerland, there thought that it, that it was complete shit. That's whenever it really makes sense to me is that there's always one judge in the trick competitions that that just thinks you're complete shit. I don't get it. Uh, but, yep, that's a ski jump, uh, a freestyle one, so, yeah. And now we're gonna do what was essentially the bane of my existence for most of this morning, because I kept trying to figure out, basically I had to go look up what the manual, a PDF of the manual, to get, to get it to tell me, um, how I'm supposed to approach this, um, and, and my bit like pretty much my biggest gripe with this game is that it's even though you know some of them some of the events work some of the events don't work some of them you need to work at but by the time you figure them out like they're not fun anymore so there's no point they show you the controls that to, to start things off but they obviously they assume that you have the manual so that you would be reading up on them and know kind of the the more you know, more intricate details of it and how to do it. But the problem, like, I can judge it at this point and say that I have a problem with that because a good game doesn't require you to read the manual for a bunch of different mini-games. 
like Mario Party, okay. even though Mario Party does present you with the information that's necessary to understand it, it's because there's a lot more of them, and you need to always have a quick little reminder. Most of it you don't really have any problems with. Um, but this one, we hold down on the... Oh, apparently I fucked it up by releasing Wicked Late. Um, but I, did, I must have done six to ten attempts of this not knowing that I'm supposed to hold the control stick down for the entire time that I'm going down the ramp that way and as soon as the guy would come off the bench right there he'd fall on his ass and I'd get disqualified and I would I have no idea and